What's up you guys, it's Andrew or Preeminent Designs HD. Now today I'm coming at you guys with a Photoshop tutorial and today's tutorial will be based off of a subscriber request which was commented on a video and it was the Speed Art episode 14 on Mac Miller. Now um, this subscriber uh, is Miles M. Stenackers, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but he had asked me how to make um, how to do it. Um, he's going to be using another program, but he uh, said, can you maybe do a voice tutorial on something like this? So guys, I'll give you a little taste of what we're going to be uh, creating and stuff like that. So here's uh, basically what it's going to be looking like. So we're going to be using uh, the pen tool to basically um, trace over something and uh, we're going to be able to make um, an outcome that looks like this. Now this is off my Facebook, so if you guys wanted to go check it out or anything like that, link will be in the description to my Facebook as well as my Twitter and everything like that. So guys, without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial and let's learn how to make something like this. So we're going to open up Photoshop and uh, just pick out whatever kind of picture you guys want. So I uh, pulled up a Land of the Kings hat, um, very cool hat, I own one of them myself. Um, uh, you know, known rappers such as uh, Mac Miller and Wiz Khalifa um, do wear these hats uh, and Lil Wayne and stuff like that. So we're going to be uh, making a, a 2D image out of one of these. So we're just going to drag this into Photoshop. And we'll just drag it in there and we'll wait for it to load all up and stuff. Let's go. All right, guys. So here we have it. And if you guys don't know how to do what I just did to have it fit to your screen, you guys just right click and fit on screen. Very helpful tip. All right, guys. So now we have layer zero over here. We're actually going to just come over here and stay organized. We're going to name it hat. All right. And then we're just going to come down here to and make a new layer. And we're going to call this um, our base. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to make this part of the hat right now. So we just come over here in our toolbar. And right above the text tool, you guys are going to see this pin tool. You guys are just going to click on that. If you guys don't see this right away, just click and hold down on it and select on the pin tool. All right, so we're going to zoom in a little bit. And basically what you guys want to do is you guys just want to make a basic outline of the thing. Now you guys have to make sure that you guys are on the layer um, one um, to make sure that you guys are not um, over the hat because it won't work then. Now um, what I'm doing right here is I'm going to hold down alt and I'm going to press on this little guy right here and that will actually get rid of um, the access right over here. Now if I were not to have done that and I tried coming down here it would not work. As you guys see it has the curve over here and it's very misplaced. So we're just going to control Z that and we're going to hold down alt and press that and basically all you have to do is just go around the hat or whatever you guys are using and make um, and basically just go around it and you know uh, have fun with it guys. You guys don't have to make it exact. I like mine to be exact um, for it to look as, uh, as real as possible. So we're going to zoom out a little bit right here and we're just going to make one nice curve and if you guys aren't too familiar with the pin tool guys just play around with it I it took me a little while to uh, get used to the pin tool so definitely um, just take your guys time play around with it uh, if you guys have to you know um, definitely give it a shot or um, you know a shot or two uh, this is also um, how you can make um, all sorts of projects such as tag and traces um, you know really a multitude of projects can be made with the pin tool and it's a uh, very 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 helpful guys um, there's also much 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 easier ways of um, creating uh, you know projects like this which um, if you guys are you know if you guys want any tutorials like that I can definitely um, make them for you uh, this is a new thing that I'm gonna start doing also as a um, as an individual myself is I'll be taking more requests from subscribers because um, you know I'm starting to run out of ideas I had to show you guys, but um, if you guys ever, you know, want to learn about something um, new or anything in particular, guys, just definitely leave a comment in the comment sections below on what you guys want to. Well, you know, I'll give them a little preview of your channel. I'll give you guys a little shout out as well and um, tell people about a little bit about what you guys are looking for. So maybe there's another individual out there who wants to know about the same. But anyway, guys, we have our base basically um, traced out. So all we have to do is as we're selected on our base layer, we just right click in here. And go to fill path and then we're going to go to use color and then pick whatever color we want I'm just going to use a black for right now and just press OK and it'll fill it in 
So now, um, if we were trying to to make another um, another trace out, uh, it would actually um, go onto the same base layer. So we don't want that. So we actually want to right click and go to delete path, and then we just want to make a new layer, and we're going to call this Bill. Now, if you guys uh, have seen the Mac Miller speed art, all you guys have to do is just press this little eye right here, right next to the picture, and it'll get rid of that so we can see. And now we're just going to trace over the bill. So we just want to make a nice little arc going right here, like so, and just delete that. I'll make a nice little arc right there. And remember, guys, the key, the whole key to this is um, one of the most important things that you guys are going to need to remember is you guys are going to have to keep using that Alt button to um, get rid of the ac the excess amount of uh, straight lines that it has because it will mess it up and uh, it will not turn out pretty, guys. So we're just going to make this arc fit the bill. So right about there. And we should just be able to have that wrap around like that and we just go and then as what you guys are going to want to do is make sure you guys are selected on bill come in here right click fill path use that same color because we still want it black and now we have basically um, a hat going on right here so now we just want to make these invisible right click delete path and now is what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add the land of the kings and um, uh, text so we're just going to come down here to make a new layer and we'll make the land of the all one so we're just going to come to land of the and now we have a new layer so now we can go over this now guys if you guys didn't want to even trace these letters you guys wouldn't have to um, but I find it that it looks kinda nice when you guys do because it kinda gives it that um, almost you know the realistic hat look type of um, feel so we're just going to come here to right click fill path use color we're going to come back to color and we're going to use white this time and we'll just start filling in these now you guys don't have to make uh, a new layer for each individual letter because of the fact that it'd be almost useless and a waste of time so we can just come in here fill path now you guys don't have to keep filling in the path each letter I just like to but you guys can definitely do whatever suits the benefit of yourselves now if you guys want uh, this image to uh, to be you know messing around with and stuff like that you guys definitely can have it I'll put it in the description as well um, and there'll be an annotation at the beginning of this video that already that'll prompt you to say if you wanted to download it or not um, these hats are pretty cool I definitely like these hats um, one of my most uh, favorite hats uh, that I have in my um, hat collection hat collection <laughs> don't really have a hat collection but now um, the circles are really uh, difficult to be uh, making because of the fact that you have to have them almost at like a perfect 90 degree angle um, so don't worry too much about circles if you guys wanted to um, overpass you know the the whole circle um, spectrum you guys could just um, make just like a regular circle using the marquee tool definitely might save you guys a little bit more um, of the frustration levels that would be going on making the circles uh, now as you guys see I'm just going through this really quick so um, this tutorial is not you know um, so lengthy and time wise so I'm just going to come over here and to make perfectly straight lines guys all you have to do is hold down shift and click wherever you guys want and it'll make you know nice straight lines um, I'm actually not going to uh, go over the kings just for the purpose of this tutorial so you guys aren't just watching me you know do this all this um, boring stuff but yeah guys that's basically how you do um, this nice you know kind of draw effect um, you know turning an image into your own uh, you know type of deal um, but yeah guys so we just fill that path and then we go down here to delete path and we'll zoom out add all the other layers and um, basically guys that's what we have now um, sometimes you guys will have uh, this problem where um, they don't exactly meet up 
um, directly where you want them to be. So I'm actually going to change the bill color uh, to kind of a grayish color. So I'm just going to right click on it, go to blending options, go to color overlay, and we'll just make that like a kind of a, a dark grayish color. And we're just going to take the bill and just you guys can just um, simply just move that up a little. We're actually going to put that under the base so it goes under the hat. And there's how you guys would uh, make you know a cutout image of whatever you guys want. So guys, if you guys like this tutorial, um, I hope you guys did. Definitely give it a like rating. Uh, leave in the comment sections below what you guys think about it. And until next time, guys, I'm Preem Designs HD, where I make quality GFX for free, and I make your visions a reality.